It was the spring of 2017, and Dan Klaus had a new film out. The film, titled Wilson and starring Woody Harrelson, was adapted from Klaus's own comics. And the title character was born when the acclaimed cartoonist sketched while visiting his own dying father. Dad loved Charles Schultz, and we loved him together when I was a kid, Klaus told me of the Peanuts creator. Sketching his father in the hospital, the ghost world cartoonist said, was a way to get into who my dad was. I told Klaus that the movie's hospital scene reminded me of my own sick father back in Sacramento. Klaus waited a beat and said he didn't want to freak me out. Then he said, I almost set that scene in Sacramento. By the end of the year, I was in Sacramento, bedside with my father. Who first taught you to honestly love journalism? Dad, I realized, was the one who showed me how to read the paper as ritual. The newspaper was to be relished, savored, like a multi-course meal made from ingredients the globe over. Dad had moved into sales at Levi's, and so leaving the Bay Area, he had come to know every freeway diner from Sacramento to the Oregon border. And I loved to tag along. Sitting there at each lunch counter, Dad would unfurl the day's paper like a feast. First step of his ritual, get out a pen. Newspapers sparked inspirations and margin notes made every paper interactive. He would start with the two minute brain teasers to get his mind firing fast. He sped through the word games with Brio. After the jolt of Java and puzzles, he turned to the games that really fanned his passions. He had played high school football in Pennsylvania. He'd also been an avid golfer while serving in the Navy on Guam. He loved watching Maze and Mantle and only regretted giving up a Kentucky Derby ticket because of his college finals. So when dad handed me the San Francisco Chronicle's sporting green section, he was sharing a window into himself. No wonder I would become a sports writer and a sports cartoonist. Then dad would read the arts and entertainment pages. And he would tell me about working at DC's Union Station when Sophia Loren elegantly deboarded, but traveling companion Terry Grant, perhaps because of an old lover's spat, did not. More, Dad would recall visiting the home of noir author James M. Cain, who said during one visit that he liked how Hollywood handled his Mildred Pierce with Joan Crawford in an Oscar-winning performance. And he recalled ushering at DC theaters as a teen, seeing 50s films like Picnic more times than he could count. No wonder I became an arts editor and a film and book critic. Dad's ritual would head next to the city columnists. He'd tell me how he submitted items to the Chronicle legend Herb Cain. One fateful day, Cain used Dad's item. No wonder my first journalism boss was San Diego's version of Herb Cain. Then Dad would relish the front page, soaking up headlines as hot off the press as his refilled coffee. He would recall working for Western Union long before law school, delivering messages to Capitol Hill in heavy snow, and standing next to JFK at National Airport. And he still dwelled on Watergate, wondering why Nixon misplayed his hand so badly with the tapes. No wonder I would end up working at one paper run by former Nixon cronies, and then the Washington Post. Last came the true palate cleanser, the funny pages. Dad savored wordplay and sight gags. Dad would then show me how he'd learned to draw Bugs Bunny when he was young. And we talked about why Peanuts was the best comic strip ever. No wonder I became a newspaper comic strip creator at age 12. And one day, got to talk comics with Schultz. I don't know whether my stoic dad liked my sports stories and cartoons. 
whether he liked my art or art stories. Whether he liked that I eventually got to talk Watergate and journalism and comics with Mr. Bradley. Or whether this autumn he liked my sharing some of our comics family history with Peanuts readers. I just know that he liked that I shared his love of newspapers. And that the stories we read spark the stories we tell. Journalism is a communal act. So, when my father died this month, I thought of his gift of daily ritual. And in my father's name, print and digital newspapers in hand, I read on. And then, share.